Earth observation is information that's being gathered about the planet Earth, um, its Earth system, um, specifically its physical, chemical, and biological systems. And we collect this information um, using different sensor technologies from space and all the way to the bottom of the ocean. When you go to a grocery store and you have a recipe in mind and you want to take off the shelf the kinds of ingredients that you need to prepare the recipe, really need to be able to serve up this information in the same organized, ready-to-go kind of way. When we go to the grocery store, nobody goes and collects grains off the shelf to mill and grind our own flour. So the responsibility that our sector has to make this information accessible and usable off the shelf is really important. Earth observation data is very vast. It's collected from multitude of technologies and systems. Um, and we really need to constantly maintain that really meticulous organization and how we're collaborating in the space of data sharing, data management, creating products that are standardized or at least harmonized in order for the users to really be able to get the right insights that they need. At a minimum, you simply end up with a subpar product, information product. Um, and we're leaving a lot of opportunity then on the table.
is different because besides providing education, it's also provide a way of generating more income for the Samburu community. was old enough to be my, my father. I was rescued by Dr. Josephine Claire. She took me to school. That was 2011, and that's the time I started my education. The application is an e-commerce platform where women can sell uh, artisanal work that they do. One is beading, so the Samburu community uh, does a lot of exceptional work around beading which is sold locally. But what this platform allowed them to do is uh, put it on the global stage um, and create more economic opportunities for the women in particular in that uh, community. In addition to the e-commerce platform, they also had a section in the app that allowed women to tell their stories um, regarding their experience of uh, being married off at an early age, experiencing the traumatic experience of um, FGM. And um, this just allowed them to have a voice and tell their story. Girls within these rural communities do not actually have a lot of access to uh, certain technologies and resources. This um, inhibits their ability to go into further education, um, particularly higher learning um, in STEM. And what we, do, what we do want to do is actually give them that opportunity to be able to explore these career paths and get the opportunity to become tech literate.